Hi, this is Ed Brenniger, Circle of Impact Leadership. It's good to be back with you. I haven't done one of these uh, videos since May. I've been kind of locked away here in my home, here in Jackson Hole, writing. And I'm writing in response to things that you all have been saying to me over the last two years. They're comments that you've made, questions you've asked, stories that you've told that give me hints to the, the kinds of things that people want to talk about and they want to hear, hear from people who are thinking about things at a deeper level. So I decided I would write about these things and I have a world of uh, topics to write on now, but I've decided to write about these things and I've written five short books that have just been published. You can find them at Amazon. And what I'm doing here is trying to give each of us something to kind of chew on. So it's kind of uh, mental, intellectual, spiritual, social nourishment to get through the times that we're going through. I call this series the Transition Chronicles because I, I believe that we're in one of the most extreme and difficult and exciting periods of change that we have had in human history. I think once we're through this, I think there's all kinds of conflict that's coming with this. Uh, we can even talk about maybe this is the collapse of Western civilization, but that doesn't mean it's the end of Western civilization. It doesn't mean it's the end of anything. It's a transition to what comes next. So these five books that I've written about, the first one is on, is simply a, a look at the response to the COVID-19 pandemic from a systems point of view. And uh, frankly, I see it as a, as a failed response uh, but you need to read the book to find out why I, I think that. The second book I've written is called Impact Starts With Me. And it really is for all of, the, all of you who came to the, my book signings and said, you know, I, I want to be a person of impact. I want to make a difference in, in the world, but I don't know how to do that. So this is simply a guide for how you can discover who you are and, and become someone who's making a difference right where you are. The third book is a, a book that's sort of a deep dive into why organizations are, are not functioning very well. I call it uh, seeing below the surface of things, the brokenness of the modern organization. I think it's symptomatic of change rather than simply brokenness, but I think brokenness is a, is a word that people can grasp hold of and understand. I think we're in a transitional phase that is uh, unlike anything that we've, we have who are alive have certainly ever experienced, but I think it's, it's one, of the, one of the historic moments in all of human history. The fourth book I've written about is a response to questions that I was given when I spent uh, the month of February in Africa. I went there and I, I spent three and a half weeks in Kenya, a week in, uh, in Uganda, and then another uh, five days in Benin in West Africa. Everywhere I went, people were asking, so what do we do about corruption in government and business? Well, frankly, I had never thought a whole lot about it. And so this time of sheltering in place has given me time to do that. And I came to the conclusion that corruption to a large extent is a breakdown of the relationship that leaders have with the people in their organization. And so to restore that relationship means that leaders need to ask for and expect from and, and seek out accountability by their people to them. When your employees are saying, we're gonna hold you accountable to the values of the company, we're gonna hold you accountable to the things you've said that you're going to do, we're, we are saying we're going to be accountable. And when the, the leader of the company, the CEO, the executive director, or whoever it may be, accepts that accountability, then you have a way of bridging the gulf bridging the, the, the brokenness that exists in many organizations. So I think it's a, it's a solution oriented, not simply a, a, a critique of corruption, it's really a way of looking at the solution to why many companies and many organizations are struggling today. The last uh, book that I've written is actually a strategic conversation that I had with my friend, Bill Watkins. Bill is a, a business accelerator coach, and his, his work is really great. He, he owns and operates a group called the, the Lion's Pride. And what he has done with his work is 
absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I'm glad you're going to get to meet him through this short book that, that uh, captures the conversation that we had. And it's the conversation, the type of conversation that Bill and I have all the time. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad for you to meet him and, and uh, to hear his uh, voice and hear his, uh, his thoughts. Uh, my plan is to write five a quarter. So there'll be five more of these coming by the end of the year. Uh, I've, I'm uh, in the process of interviewing four different people for four different books, all with very different topics. I also have probably another five or six that I'm working on that I think addresses um, particular issues of how we are organized in the world today and what leadership is and the sort of things we need to do. So there's a lot going on. And I hope that you will grasp the idea that it is not necessary for you to, to live the fear. And it's not necessary for you to feel anxious about what is taking place. What is necessary is for you to say, this is who I am. This is what I want. This is how I want to be a person of impact. And this is what I think I must do to change the circumstances of my life, my business, my community, in order for this to happen. And I hope that you will do that. And, and so let me close with this. I invite you to invite me into your conversations that you're having. I want to hear what you're talking about because all of you have things that you're saying which make sense and they, they have things, you're saying things that are worth other people hearing. So if you invite me into a conversation with you and we talk about something that's an importance to you, we may find that there's a one of these short books there waiting to be discovered. And then we can, uh, we can celebrate your ideas being um, brought to the world through the agency of my uh, conversation with you in my writing. I, I think that's a, an exciting thing. And I have, and, you know, all I do is have conversations with people where I write a short book about it. I'd be very happy and I can live the rest of my life that way. So the book can be found, the books can be found at Amazon. You can just go there and um, search for Ed Brenniger and you'll find it. Uh, there are still copies of the Circle of Impact available. And I think once you begin to read these short books, you'll see that, the, that they really supplement the, the larger book, which is still a substantial work uh, characterizing what, the what leadership of the 21st century is truly about. And, uh, and if you want to talk, uh, the, uh, my acuity scheduler is uh, listed here. And so reach out to me and we can talk. I thank you very much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye-bye.